to Zach. So I see Zach as like this post. It's about accelerating sales cycles with social selling. So I know that you know, I have a glimpse into Zach's world and I understand something that has resonated with him already. Like I know a relevant pain point. So it helps us solve that problem of like right person, right time, right message. We know what they care about. So now I can reach out to Zach with something that is very, very relevant to him. And when we outbound, we'll use three channels, email, LinkedIn, and cold call. We like to use a mix of the three, but I'll just walk through how I would use my presence on LinkedIn to leverage the LinkedIn channel. So I've got over 2000 followers. Uh, Zach obviously has engaged with my content before. He knows me, he might trust me as a resource. And so step one of the LinkedIn sequence is I would go to a recent post of his and genuinely engage with it. So I'll maybe go to this post and I've already commented on it, but something that not a lot of sellers are doing are, is genuinely engaging. So leave like a, at minimum two sentence comment here, something that like you actually had to use your brain to think of and start a conversation in the comments. Another thing you can also do if they're not posting a lot and they don't have a lot to engage with is if you go to their profile, you can go here to the comment section and reply to a comment and start a conversation that way. So it's really just about like not immediately pitch slapping someone. You want to add value first and show that you're interested in having a conversation and not just, hey, sh I wanna shove my product down your throat. So that would be day one of, of the sequence. I'd connect, we'd, we'd engage with their content a little bit. And then a couple days later, I like sending voice notes. I'd go and send Zach a voice note. So uh, I sent him up one this morning. Zach, you haven't listened to this, but this is me talking crap about the lions. Um, and so I'll throw like a voice note over and just a picture just to show up a little bit different uh, than a lot of sellers, uh, a little bit of a pattern interrupt, something not a lot of people are doing. We get great reply rates here. So this is step two, voice note. And this can be a video text if you're more comfortable with that. Uh, but make sure it's personalized. We don't want to be sending any, you know, spammy garbage. And this is basically like, hey, I saw, hey, Zach, I saw you uh, engage with this post. Glad it resonated with you. And then I would talk about our value prop, how we could help, ask if he's open to a conversation. And then this is what the follow up would look like. Uh, and this would be like another couple of days later. Uh, I like just a short, thoughtful bump. So any feedback on my voice note, and then I like to name drop uh, someone else at the company that might be relevant. So we're a smaller seed stage startup. Parthi would be a, the other decision maker if I were trying to sell you know, sales tech. Any feedback on my voice note, or is it better to reach out to Parthi? And those are the three steps. Just engage, send a thoughtful personalized DM, and then a thoughtful follow-up. Those three steps have will result in a 21.6% reply rate for me personally. Um, and that's a combination of a lot of things. It's me showing up as a social seller that buyers trust, not just someone with a blank profile that's spamming them with a DM. It's me thoughtfully engaging beforehand, not just pitch slapping. And then the third thing is we're doing actual thoughtful personalized outbound. Uh, and we book up a ton of meetings that way. So that's sort of how you can do this manually. Uh, it might be a little bit more work, but it's something that I think if you take the time you do it correctly, it's worth the work that you do. Um, but we, there's also some automation you can introduce. Uh, so I'll throw it back over to Zach and he can talk a little bit more about how we do these things a little bit quicker.